go. Just sit. Just sit nice and comfortable back there. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the Alpha Ginger Show. This week I will be doing something a little bit different. I will be doing the new small YouTuber tag thing. I've never done one of these, so uh, this will be new for me. Basically, it's a way for me to kind of express a little bit more about me to the viewer. But without any further ado, let's get to the questions. So number one is describe your content in one sentence. Well, I could probably describe it in less than a sentence, so I will use three words. Impressions, food, and video games. But most importantly, impressions. I love doing them. I think I'm phenomenal at some and horrendous at others, but they're fun to do both the good and the bad, and it's fun to watch. So that's kind of what my channel's about. Let's see here. What equipment do you use to film? Well, right now I am using a Blue Yeti microphone. It's a pretty nice uh, professional microphone that's a USB mic. It's fairly cheap, actually, for a professional mic. That's what I use. Um, I use big old, these big white lights that scare me when I turn them on every time. For my camera, I use a Canon, let me see if I get this right, T5i. Canon T5i. Basically, anything I film except for my video games, I use that camera. So, that's the equipment I use. All right, moving on. Uh, number three, which big YouTubers would you like to collab with and why? Well, the first one's a no-brainer. I would love to collab with Brizzy Voices. I think she's amazing at doing impressions, and I think she's in, she's got an amazing voice, and she could do so many accents and stuff. She's just an all-around awesome person, and she's a Harry Potter fan. That's, that's, that's a plus, obviously. She would be number one on the list for sure. I would love to do a collab doing, like, impressions or something with her. And then I would love to be a guest on the Gabe Grumps. Uh, they are probably my favorite YouTubers uh, for comedy right now. Um, I just don't think it gets any better than them. They have some of the best banter I've ever heard from two friends playing video games. So uh, if Brizzy or Game Grumps would like to collab with me, I'm available at literally all times. So just ask. <laughs> All right, question number four. Does your channel meet new YouTuber guidelines? <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> number five. Do you think the new guidelines are fair? Well, okay. I've heard it both ways on this one, and I'm just going to say, uh, I think it's it's fair to a point. I get where they were going with it. The YouTuber uh, game theorist said it best when they said that uh, it was during that whole Logan Paul ordeal in Japan or whatever. Uh, they said it best that YouTube was going to react to that incident and they were going to overreact because they always overreact. And I think it was exactly that. I think they may have overreacted a little bit too quickly. I, I their, their heart was in the right place, obviously, but I just think that they should have thought it through a little bit further. Obviously, since I'm nowhere close to the guidelines as is, it doesn't really affect me, but as I move forward and I get to that point, uh, I sure hope it doesn't change again. Let's move on. Number six, what do you classify as a small YouTuber? I've also heard a lot of opinions on what a small YouTuber is, and it's weird, because I've heard some people say like, a small YouTuber is like someone that has like 10,000 or less view, like subscribers. Uh, 10,000 to me is borderline not small anymore. 10,000 is you've got some traction. You've obviously developed a fan base that likes your style of videos. So I, I wouldn't necessarily call you a small YouTuber, but I'd say somewhere around the range of 4,000, 5,000 subscribers is the cutoff for me, probably. Let's see. Number seven, if you had more money slash equipment, I think I meant to write equipment, I would be uh, doing a bit more skits because I did a few skits way back when and I thought those were fun to do, but 
they're so time consuming with the equipment I have and literally zero people, zilch people to help me film these videos. Uh, it's really hard to do skits. So I think I would do skits more and maybe I'd be able to collab with more people because I've actually only done one collab and it was with my sister. So yeah. Number eight, do you watch and support other small YouTubers? Well, I, okay, so I'm kind of new to YouTube. I'm about a year in, a little over a year in. I, I do watch a few small YouTubers. Um, is, is Izzy Bells? I think, I think it's Izzy Bells. Uh, but she, oh, she's got a phenomenal voice. She could, she does all these uh, awesome renditions of Disney princesses singing songs. And, oh, she's, she's just, she's adorable. I, I love her. Um, I don't even know if she's a small YouTuber anymore either. Um, and then I did at the time really like Chiseled Adonis. I started watching his channel right as he like started growing rapidly. Uh, he's not a small YouTuber anymore. He's, he's in that mid category, but uh, I love his videos. He commentates on NFL game. Uh, he comments, commentates on sports and does his own uh, side videos that are just the funniest things ever. He goes on some of the best rants I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, uh, those two small YouTubers come to mind that I watch quite often. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, list three hobbies outside of YouTube. Okay, well, I like to exercise. I would have counted impressions that I do in my videos for YouTube as hobbies because I, I, <laughs> my family knows this. I would literally just like on car rides and stuff or just in my free time, just like do random voices or do random impressions. So I guess that's kind of a hobby. I'll give him an offer. He can't refuse. We're gonna go with video games. Video games is my third hobby. I love playing video games. Uh, where do you want your channel to be at in a year? In a year's time, I'm hoping that my channel, cause I'm, I'm I'm so close to 100 subscribers right now. So if, but first of all, if you could, if you like this video, click the subscribe button, please. Because I am so close to 100. In a year's time, I would say I would want to be around roughly 500 subscribers. And the final question on this list is, does pineapples belong on pizza? Now look, I'm not gonna be the guy that says you can't put pineapples on pizza. I mean, there's not, there's no law, there's no rules against it. You can put whatever you feel like on your pizza. I mean, I used to eat macaroni and cheese with ketchup. Matter of fact, I used to eat corn sometimes <laughs> with ketchup. So I don't really think I can justify telling someone not to put pineapples on pizza. Anyways, if you like this video, please click the like button below. Also comment on if you like this video or what you would like to see me do in the future. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday are video game videos and Thursdays are videos as such. But until next time, don't quit your daydream. Adios. Bye.